guys, welcome back to Patty Kicks Girl. And today um, I'm telling a another Islamic story about a prophet. And the prophet's name is Prophet Saleh alayhi salam. Uh, but before you, um, before I tell you the story, please press this button down below, which is subscribe, and press the like button for and press the like button if you like it, and I bell icon if you want to see more videos, more brand new videos. Anyways, another thing, I'm giving out shout shout out soon, so um, tell me down in the comments below if you want shout outs. Now let's start the story. So there was once a town called Samud, and Samud, in Samud, there were people, and those people were like very rich and very, very powerful people, and their houses were very strong too. Like they were very strong; nearly nothing could break them. And then um, Prophet Saleh alayhi salam, he used to live that time. He lived at that time too, in some mood, and those people loved him and they even respected him. Um, one day, Allah Ta'ala Ji, and in English it means God, we call that God in my religion. He, because we think he's God. And then he, uh, he commanded Prophet Saleh Alayhi Salam to go ask those people of some mood to worship Allah Ta'ala Ji instead of those fake idols because those people they used to worship um, idols like what their forefathers did so um, so that happened and then Prophet Saleh alayhi salam, he went to Samud and he asked he, he asked those people um, all my people please worship the one and truly God Allah Ta'ala Ji and yes, yeah, so, so, and those people, they were like, why should we worship the God of yours? And oh my God, we loved you so much. But why are you asking us to worship your one and truly God, Allah? And then the Prophet said, oh my people, please, please, please believe me that Allah Ta'ala Ji is the one truly and only God. But those people just walked away. Yeah. And then the next day, uh, I feel like it was some days later or the next day that happened until one day those people they saw a very big rock and they and they started worshipping the big rocks and when though yeah so they started worshipping them and then when um, Prophet Saleh Salam saw this he got very sad oh my people he said please believe in Allah Ta'ala Ji as your one and only God and then one of those people, and the people still refused. And they said, why should we worship the God of yours? And they were all arguing until one of the, one of the bad priests, he said, show us a miracle. Show us a miracle and we will believe Allah as the one and only God. And then one of them per person said, yeah, show us a miracle. Like, see that big rock over there, like that big rock that they're worshiping. They said, they asked the prophets to, to make the big ox, the ox is God to break up all that, all the rocks and turn it into a very big she camel. And then another person, he shouted, he said, yeah, and make that cam, that she camel pregnant too. And then, and then, and then the prophet, he thought for a while, he said, hmm, if you, if, uh, if my God does this miracle, will you believe in him as the one and only true God? And then those people said, yes. So, Prophet Saleh alayhi salam, he prayed to God to make, to turn those big rocks into a big she camel which was pregnant too. And then the miracle happened. A very, very impressive a miracle happened. Those people heard rocks breaking. They were kind of surprised and shocked that they looked at the rocks and the rocks were like very shaking and moving. And then they all cracked and out came a very big, nice, beautiful she camel who was pregnant too. 
she was very big and very pre and she was also pregnant. And then those people, they were surprised, they couldn't believe their eyes. And then, and then they, they started worshiping Allah. And, and, they, and they finally believed that Allah Talaji was the one and truly God. But some of those people did it, especially the uh, rich, like the very rich and the very, very uh, powerful ones. They, most of them didn't believe in Allah Ta'ala Ji. They thought it was like magic. And then little on after, and then little on, um, the she camel, she became the symbol. She became the symbol of summer. And after three days, she gave birth to a he camel a very young nice he camel he was like very calm and those two camels became the symbol for for prophet Saleh for prophet Saleh alayhi salam and then uh, yeah that happened and then every day that camel would sometimes go in the green land she would start eating those plants with her little child and there was a, and then there was even a very well, if there was a very big well there with lots of water and the camel, the she camel would usually drink from there. And those people can't go near the well because the camel was pretty big and she drank a lot of water. Like a lot of water. And one and then some and then one day she was feeding her her child the milk. And then the people saw this that they ran up to Prophet Saleh alayhi salam. And they said to him, and they said to him, could we please at least have some of the camel's milk? Cause the, cause of course the child won't have all of it. And then Prophet Saleh alayhi salam, he thought for a while. Hmm. He then he said, um, he said, okay, you could have some of it, but but you could have some of it while she drinks her water. And then some days you have to leave the milk for her child. Those people agreed that they went off and got some milk. And the she camel, she was big, so she gave plenty of milk. So while she, so, and then one day, those bad people, those rich and powerful, they did not like the she camel and her child. So one night they all planned, like the old bad ones, they planned to kill the she camel and her baby. And then they asked, they even asked, some women or wives to get some strong men, like very strong men. And when those, and when the strong men heard this, they accepted to kill the she camel and her calf with those people. <clears throat> so one day, so in the morning maybe, they were all behind, they were all hiding while the she camel, she was eating the grass and drinking some water. They were absorbing her. They were like. They were like quietly watching her until one of those, one of the people, they got their arrows ready and shot her leg with the arrow. It was very painful, so the she camel she screamed and she started running away. With same with her calf, the calf started following his mother. So the she camel started running, running away, and then those people they ran after her and they started killing the poor she camel and her calf. When the Prophet saw this, everyone, before that happened, everyone was cheering, dancing. They were very happy. When the Prophet saw, when the Prophet saw this, he got very, very sad and heartbroken. So he shouted to them, enjoy life because your punishment is coming after three days. And to one of the men said, why three days? Bring it now. Or some other time later, but bring it quick. And then, Later on, the next next plan, they started. They wanted to kill the prophet, but Prophet Allah Taala Ji, he saved the prophet and his people who were who were the followers of him. So they went out of the town of Samu, and then later on, those people were in their houses, the very strong, impressive houses. The Allah Taala Ji, he sent very very big. Um, winds and storms, very powerful, powerful even the houses, powerful more than houses, that it was a very big disaster that all the house breaked. And then, so all the houses breaked and the people of Samud, they were all gone. This is the end of the story of Prophet Saleh alayhi salam.
and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember what I said in the first part? Subscribe, bell icon, and like if you liked it.